Starting February 1st, restaurants and bars can open at 25% capacity and with a 10 p.m. curfew. While we must remain vigilant and cautious, we can lift some protocols that were previously in place. Some local business owners say being allowed to reopen will help them get back on track. We've been kind of going down that path of trying to figure out how we're going to reopen, and this is the first step in order for that to happen, so we're excited. Gillette was one of 100 Michigan restaurant owners who signed an open letter to Governor Gretchen Whitmer urging her to open indoor dining. I think there's going to be enough people that are excited about it that will come out, but the biggest thing is we, we believe in safety. If, if somebody's not ready, they should not come out and, and dine with us just, just because. I urge Michiganders across the state to do what you can to support your favorite local restaurants. Buy a gift card for a friend or family member. Get takeout a couple times a week if you can. Let's all do our part. Whitmer also announced in a Friday morning press conference that the state health department will allow larger crowds in stadiums and other entertainment venues. Families relying on food assistance programs like SNAP can also expect a 15% increase in benefits for the next six months, she said. Food insecurity in Michigan has been on the rise which is why some local nonprofits say expanding benefits is crucial. There's a lot of tools in the anti-hunger toolbox and certainly charity and the food banks are a huge tool, but there's no tool like the government, right? And to increase SNAP benefits by 15%, yes, it's the fastest, quickest way to get help to people when they need it. The governor also hopes to ramp up vaccine distribution in the coming weeks. Nearly 600,000 vaccine doses have already been administered in Michigan, but Whitmer says she wants the daily number of vaccinations delivered to increase. More federal money is needed to acquire enough vaccines to meet the governor's goal of 50,000 shots per day across the state. COVID-19, though, is still a very real threat to us all and our economy, and that's why we've got to keep taking it serious. Reporting in Lansing, Keisha Young, Fox 47.